don't have to walk back. I'll just start showing you. This is a this was my first wood shed. And I just started I started using all the bladders cuz I I mean I was they want they went almost 100 bucks up here for same a down tote. my way. Same it's up. like you're nuts. So, and don't ever do that. Yeah. Cut the front end out. I listened to Heath and Rachel too much and I did three of them and it's like I like to stack them and it's just you'll bend everything all up but anyway I always date date all my stuff that one's a 124 that's a 124 I try to and by the way um, show them that this came or it didn't come from um, Jake from State Farm <laughs> yeah, Jake from State Farm. There's somebody that's got a YouTube channel. It's called Jake from Steak Farm. Steak Farm. He's a Steak farmer. Farm. Anyway, that was pretty good. Uh, Dude Ranch. Okay. Dude Ranch. Anyway, he said these things don't fade. And I have a problem, not so much when they're inside, but if I have them outside, I'll come three months later. I can't, I can't see where I wrote it on the, you know, and I've got a lot of totes around here. I believe... We're over 200. Wow. Um, there's probably, this is seven deep, so 14, well, that one's not full. So, but anyway, you get the idea. Well, and this is a bunch of maple, or a bunch of ash that I, I bought a load of ash at a uh, benefit. And I, I ended up, I split that one over the winter. That's got to get out of here, though. It's, that's like from 2000 either 19 or 20. I think, actually, I think it was 20. It was a fall, because everybody had to be wearing masks and stuff, and uh, I was really surprised they even did it. So, as long as they're going by here, this is my little shop. It's hard to keep it clean. Um, I'm, this is my first attempt to sell firewood right there. I, I've been selling volumes of firewood, but you got to get a stand and a bu bundles and smaller amounts and uh, this was supposed to happen like April but what is it now almost August <laughs> <laughs> well you know how time gets away well join the crowd okay so this is the last of my I got like I think eight cords might have been a little more a little less of basswood it was free but i had to go pick it up and this is what i've made out of it this is the first attempt on a on a crisp bin <laughs> and you know this stuff was just this was just split probably in the last week and a half two weeks but i take i debark it and every time i go to check it you wow you would start getting close to that. But it, I think this makes That's wonderful, yeah. wonderful wood. It's got almost a hood of spruce smell, don't it? Yes, it does, it does, it does. Um, but anyway, I've got probably everyone in this area. I've kind of consumed that my whole areas into wood. So this is my little saw station, and I've learned I don't like to saw logs that are probably bigger than 10 inches what happens they come here it's just too much twisting on my back uh i just kind of went to all the scrap stuff that goes in here and i run her through and i gotta do some more modifying on here you get the bumpy stuff with the you know with the little branches they keep catching in these here so rod from firewood midwest he said he says well why don't you take this stuff and just do just go right over to the top of that i said well it's kind of defeating the purpose i bought it but he might be right he might be yeah. he might be right that might ride better i think so well and see when i first started out i added this a year ago that's how i did it and that's where, where my saw spot was and that actually worked pretty good but see where i was running running into problems you go with a 18 inch that's too hard i mean I, I so here we got good grief you got a lot on hand oh, we i know i counted it up the other day we're approaching almost 80 cords wow. full cords not, yeah, not cords. but now i got this issue 
Because see, last year I tore out all them trees, had the excavator come in. Well, we tried to get what we thought was a really good uh, drainage, you know. Well, I can show you that out there. But what happened, everything that comes from that end, it's supposed to flow here. But I had this whole thing full of wood on the other side. I'll show you that too. Anyway, the water gets in there and then it, it runs through underneath this pile of wood. And well, you can see where it yeah. ran here. What a mess. Burned. Like this thing, I'll bet you is, well, carried many. I carried this thing with me. Let's see what it does. I'm trying to find mine. I don't know where mine's at right now. Well, I, I had to, I ended up buying three of them and I finally got them crawled up. And now I've learned, see that's already 17, yeah. but that's, you know, that there. Now this one, I mean, I don't like getting this mold, but I don't know what you can do about it. Not much you can do. What kind of wood is this? This is all basswood again. Okay. See that's, oh my gosh, see that's 30, 33, 4. But anyway, that's what I want to do is kick it out and get it on the pile. Somehow I got to get two campers in here this fall. <laughs> well, that'll get kicked out. This will get kicked out. But I've got to, I've got to, there's some of the bundles I started making. And I think I've got, you know, I got some birch. I've got, that's birch also. There's a lot of popple in this one. Um, I know there's ash somewhere. But anyway, I kind of mixed it up, but I just, I, I've got a nice pine. This is this is all nice, ready to go. That's, uh, but see this again too. When you leave the tops open, and the wa you get heavy rain like we've been getting, you dig down into this area, and it's wet. And I brought it back inside, and I think it's good and dry now. But God, I just don't want to have somebody buy that. You open it up, and the whole center is wet. But this was dead dead red pine. And uh, actually you came from the, the up here too? Oh, cord. Yeah. Well, that's where all this stuff came. This is all tamarack. And I, I made two totes for boiler wood, big pieces. I've been selling more of that than I have the little stuff like these two. I split, but this stuff, that's all ready to go. That's pretty heavy. It is. It's one of the best woods out there, I guess. It's, he says the whole stove was cherry red, the pipe was red. Yeah. This stuff don't even look like it's dry. This is actually was cut split in January of 23. So it's got a year and a half on it, but it was enclosed in this little shed here. Let's just see what some of these were. I know I checked some earlier. See, it's dry. It's yeah. 13. I mean, it should open them up to really yeah. get a test, but if it's 13 on the ends, it ain't going to be more than 17, 18 inside. Yeah, it's got a year on it. Oh, absolutely. And I, I love birch. Some yeah. people hate it. Some people love it. And this is tamarack. And, well, this is dry, but I know it's dry. Let's see, that's 13, that one is. That one was, well, it was 12, now it's 14, so... But I mean, this stuff, this stuff, I think this would be great for bonfires too, by itself, because it's so, it lasts so long. But, uh, well, then I started experimenting with this, Larry. Whoops, lost my cover. So this is a bunch of mini, this was just a little tree I cut down, and I thought it would be kind of cute to turn them into these little, little pieces. Um, my daughter's got one of these, and I can't believe how much wood she goes through. <laughs> So this shed, I used to, <laughs> I used to, um, I used to stack this whole thing full. Well, okay, so here's what happened. I was talking about this earlier. Yeah. We we ended up, and I didn't realize it because you know we had the we had the pallets right up to here. Well, I thought it was fairly level. Well, all this water flows. Well, and all that water comes down and flows through here too. And that's why I dug this trench on the outside, but it ain't getting in there. It's coming in here. And luckily it's on pallets. Everything seems to be okay yeah. yet, but um, I got to get this figured out because that's coming in here and finding its way underneath the building. It's and like you had stumps right here, trees. Um, 
Well, there could have been. There could have been because this was all trees before I built this. I built this in 2019. Most of this wood is, I would say everything on this side is all ready to go. Some of this was just split in, well, there's a date, 324. Most of this is all 324. Um, well, and I tried to, I tried to do a couple baskets where they're like exactly four feet. Well, you, it's really hard yeah. to set that on here. So I've been, I've been using the pallet or I'm going to start pretty, yeah, yeah. This one just got cut down two days ago, but I'm just, I think I'm just going to stop making wood, let it dry out out here. And I got, my project is to start selling something. It's just frustrating. I've talked. Do we have to hug each other? Excellent job. <laughs> there, there's a mixture of, oh, I'm wrong. That's the pile over there. This is a mixture of, it's got maple, popple, tamarack. get stuff floating under that pedal. wet that is. That's, I really think you gotta take that bark off. Point six right now. And now watch when I crank this up. Well, it's probably not under load, but just to show you how much power this thing has, but I just, I don't like all the noise. You don't have to go that fast.
fixed up here. big one like this here, this busted in half. That's the easiest way to do it. Everybody figures it out. But... And then just start, yep, just start slicing it. my back so much. So yeah, the nice thing too, you can feather it like that and it, it um, you run this thing for an hour, you would do it pretty much be in it. while to train yourself not to do it. I catch myself once in a while too and it's like
think you might end up going home. I think he wants to stay for a couple days. <laughs> really enjoyed this machine. That's how you like to see it. Is my old splitter. That you're still still using. Yep, well, anyway, I'm just saying that I I put a new a new head on it. This is the old one. I just pulled two bolts back here, that one and that one, but the arms have to be up. There's nothing in there. Where is that little orange red? See that little red cable there behind that yeah. throttle? Yeah. It's a bypass. But it doesn't tell you. I mean, I had no clue what it was. You pull that up, the arms will come if you want it. 
Some of these. That's, this is the large. Here's the hat. Oh, thank you. You're the first woodhound that's ever been here. I thought, you know, so we heard let's go up. See, this is an XL. Yeah, XL. I said 1X. Yeah. I, you said you'd like a 2X. Yeah, we, we got one. I think we do. I We just, you know, we have been, I want so badly to put a thing on YouTube so that you can kind of get, you know, you, you, but I'm so afraid what happened to, like, uh, Allen's up there. And they, they changed some things around the way they the way they gave things away. I mean, I don't want to get involved with these yeah. goofballs that, that are trying to trying to get into your channel and screw it all up. So what I don't know. What do you wear? I'm, I wear uh, well. I lost 64 pounds, uh, 54 pounds. Nice. Oh, well, I'm glad. I feel much better with that. But uh, since then, I probably. I still usually go XL. Sometimes, you know, last spring, last spring, we didn't have this fence up. And we had just like this set up. 